This is just a test. The big one comes later. Oh, we are been at we are we are, we are been man. I've been waiting. I told y'all I was about to put these stickers, stickers, yeah, stickers, stickers. Which do you prefer, my young fellow? Stickers or stickers? About to put these stickers. On the whip. Got the whip sitting right here. Got the RV. Old school. Y'all see it. Old school. A project of my wife and myself. Let y'all check it out. We're gonna we're gonna let that stay right there for for a second. She might have locked it. No, nah, she didn't lock it. Yeah. We are remodeling it. Got the seats and stuff out. Got the captain's chair that go right here. Uh, seats are sent off so they could be uh, reupholstered from the same guy that did the interior parts on this car. We're going with um, terracotta on the seats. We might do terracotta up front and a terracotta on the chair that goes right here. We're going to take this up. I'll replace it with the uh, Fox hardwood hardwood floor. Ugh, I'm getting old, but um, still got some painting and stuff to do. Uh, it was an ugly brown, but now we painted it a neutral white. Got the two beds back here. This is the emergency whip. If it go down, you know, hey, hey, if it goes down, something happens. We got this. Can't pay the bills. Something got to go. Hey, hey, we got this. We put the uh, chalk on here. Chalkboard paint or whatever you want to call it. I sprayed it for her. So we got a refrigerator. Freezer. Stove. Oven. This is the bathroom. That she is redoing also. We're gonna get this this guy this girl all nice and pretty and then check this out while it's not in use it will be the man cave <laughs> this will be my man cave where I will be ducked off so I'm gonna have it all decked out with food and snacks and everything matter of fact we have stuff in here boom we got stuff in here already emergency food just in case it hits the fan not just in case it hits the fan but when it does hit the fan that's for another video another video another time y'all ain't here for that is y'all y'all ain't here for that y'all for here for the car y'all want to hear about some dang cars man show us the car okay for those who don't know who haven't seen the whip we got the 22 inch irox on here 265 35 um no lifting, no none of that, none of that stuff. We ain't lift nothing. We ain't cut nothing. Only problem that we have is when I go over sharp dips, it has cut into the tire. So I will eventually have to get this tire replaced because this whole little piece right here is pretty much gone, as you can see. And the reason is because I need to get this fender rolled, and I just I haven't done it yet. But I had to get a new tire, which costs about, um, the guy said I can get it for $108. That's with the, uh, taxes and it, taxes and everything. So I'm going to replace this tire. Um, and first and foremost, I'm going to get this fender rope because that's the only way, that's the only, only place it does it. Get y'all a closer look. You see where it is cut in and I just pulled it off because it was flapping. It was bah, 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 bah. And I've had that problem before with, uh, with the wheels. And the reason is because how far they stick out they stick out right at that uh that fender so for some reason on this side when it comes down over a a sharp bump it cuts that tire 
it doesn't do it there it doesn't do it on that side and it doesn't do it on this side but most likely I will still get all of them rolled just in case at least the two front I don't think the back will have too many problems because you can't put too much stuff back there anyway but um y'all see it y'all see we got the plastic dip front with the red pinstripe oh oh wait till I get my splitter wait till I get my splitter it's gonna look good we did a little something different I'm gonna give y'all a close up we brought it in all the way and then we brought it out let me check this because it's been a while since I checked it but it should be good make sure it's on there good it's been cold let's uh let's go to the trunk it's dirty it's been uh it's been raining it's been snowing first and foremost what we're going to do we're going to take a little glass cleaner which suggests 50 50 vinegar and water this is the best stuff you can use you don't got to buy the expensive stuff if you want to hey that's your choice we're going to get a rag boom microfiber What we're going to do is we're going to spray that center part. Boom. That's all we're going to do. We ain't cleaning the old car. It's dirty. It's been snowing. It's been raining. It's been sleeting. That's all we're going to do. Hit it. Throw that back in our handy dandy bucket. Get in there. Get your butt in there. No. Then we're going to come around and just wipe it. Of course, the right thing to do would be to clean the whole rim, clean the whole car. But like I said, it's it's 50 degrees out here. 50 degrees. We just want to make sure that part is clean. Look how shiny that is compared to the dull, shiny, dull, shiny. Just want to make sure this is clean so when we uh stick our stick on there you see that look this did not cut none no cuts i don't know why it only cuts on that one side <sighs> maybe it's the way the car is made i don't know boom so we will throw that aside Close our trunk. We want to go on the inside, see what we got going on. Let y'all check it out for those of you who have not seen it. We got red suede. Red suede. Red suede, red suede, red suede in the back insert. And oh, y'all didn't know I had a subwoofer back there, did you? <laughs> We getting some work done. We getting some more work done. What is he doing? What is he doing? What is that boy doing? Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Y'all going to see it. It's going to complement this and the rest of the car. Oh yeah, I got my um stainless steel cup holder trim off of eBay for $30. To bring out the interior and we got that pinstripe on the front y'all ain't you see what i'm saying we, we we got a vision here we got we got a vision that pinstripe ain't there just for no reason you see how it brings out that bezel bam to go with the front you seen the front where i had the pinstripe going around there right bam now you got the pinstripe on the inside bam so you just you know, it breaks up just a little bit but it's subtle. It's subtle. You know, you know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, I didn't know that was there. So you catch it. Oh, like, oh, it got a pinstripe? What is that red thing? Bam! That's what it is. It's a pinstripe. I put it there. Y'all remember my other video. If you don't, go check it out. But this is what I bought. See, this is why you don't put stuff in your seats. Because they get dirty and stuff. I try to take care of my stuff. Um. But this is what we got. We have, um. Flow of a silicone windshield and glass sealer, clear, waterproof. So I figured that if it was good enough for um, 
a windshield then it would be good enough for these and the whole purpose is you you want them to to stick boom 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 I already stuck one up there and it looks good it bring it brings the car out that much more and this is why I'm staying with the um, gold bow ties like I like I did on the front also got a surprise for y'all coming just think about rear LED light up bow tie it's on the way and like I'm, I'm, I'm gonna order the front one too I just gotta pay my bills first <laughs> um but it says seals sunroofs repairs weather stripping seals window frames waterproofs electrical connections seals storm windows marine applications it says dries in one hour to form a resilient tough waterproof seal which resists vibration and extreme temperatures bonds to glass metal wood plastic and con concrete and rubber so we good we good we good to go we good we good to go um i could have gotten the um the real deal automotive stuff you know that um they used to bond body panels and stuff but i figured that this would pretty much do the job so i'm gonna go ahead and get this situated because i gotta open this and cut this and squeeze it out and i want to make sure i do this right so i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna get back with y'all but before we do that i want to give y'all just a sample give you just a sample oh 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 look at that tell me tell me that don't look good on there tell me that don't look like a factory wheel even though the IROCs are based off a of factory wheel. Look at that. No thing. Oh. Oh, come on now. Come on. You know it look good. These were um $13.99 off of eBay. And they are domed, as I told you before. So you got to be real careful with them. So, let's get to it. Alright, so... We cut our tip we got it on there and another reason I went with this is because it actually seals so water won't get in between uh, the rim and where this 3m adhesive is which means that this will last longer than if you just went with the uh, 3m adhesive because this actually creates a seal and you don't want water to get in between the little little crack or whatnot and then one of them fall off you want these to last as long as possible so uh just take the backing off and what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a seal around there and then i'm also going to put a seal around the rims so let's do that and then let's get the first one on then we'll go from there all right as you see i just put some on the outside and then i came here on the wheel and put some on the outside where it's going to match up at and then I put a little bit in the middle so now I want to take this see how I want to position it in look at that look at this you see already dropping stuff and I think I'm gonna go like that you just Make sure you position it. So let me get low. It's a little bit low right here. So you just. There we go. It wasn't all the way in there. And. I'm going to push it. Apply some pressure. Make sure it gets on there real good. Make sure that seals. You don't want this to come off. See how that popped out? So now I gotta pull it off. Because it's dome shaped, when I pushed it to try to make it flat, it messed it up. So I'm gonna pull this off and pop it back out so it has that dome shaped. Boom. So we got them on. I'm gonna let them, um, set for a little bit and then I'm gonna go back over them and then push them push them on and position them just a little bit better but uh I just positioned it with the 
spoke up to give it the equal uh, equal look with the five star. Uh, like uh, this one, as you can tell, the five star is going that way, so I positioned it that way. See how it's sliding because it's not dry yet. It's like 30 something degrees out here, so it's not um, drying as fast as it could. So I just keep an eye on it and then uh, position it better when it dries a little bit. The package says it takes about an hour, so I'm going to give it about two hours before it sets and then uh, about 30 minutes before I come out come back out here and check it but um yeah that's it as you can see it brings the wheel out gives it a little bit of a flare gives it a little bit of style guess it wouldn't have mattered um which way I put the bow tie because depending on how the wheel is is how the spokes would be it would be cool if 4G Auto made something like this with the uh, floating caps that stay stationary that would be pretty cool but I like it um that's it would I use these again I like it because you can actually feel it it's actually 3d but um honestly if I had to do it over again which I may have to eventually I will probably go with just plain stickers to stick in there I think the stickers would uh uh, maybe last a little bit longer and because I got the dome ones the ones that are domed um, they don't sit as flush so I had to pretty much push them on there I didn't have to but I prefer to uh, so they can get a better a better better surface to stick to but if I had to do it over again I would probably just go with stickers but um I do like these don't get me wrong because you can actually see them in the shape of them are 3d so of course it's going to look better but you couldn't go wrong with the stickers either i don't think so i actually seen a guy that uh that had these on his camaro and it looked good i don't know if he had the stickers or if he had uh if he had those and if i mess it up I just gotta take it off <laughs> what's up everybody how you doing everybody um just got back home and was sitting in the car watching a few videos and the real reason i came home was because i thought the male lady would have ran by now but she didn't because i was expecting a few packages a few goodies for the camaro and so I'm sitting here watching some videos and everything like I said and then she pulls up and delivers a few things I'll let y'all check them out but first I want to show you something that I did now some of you may or may not agree with it but I had to do what I had to do and I know there's a proper way to do it and the proper way would be to clear the whole front end and when I get the um, front painted with actual automotive paint I'm going to clear the whole front end with uh, with the pinstripe so the problem that we were having was this corner right here wasn't laying down that's because you know that's a that's a high high traffic area where a lot of stuff is coming through and the angle that it's going at so it was coming up right there in this little corner right here right there little spot right there 
and it was also doing the same thing on this side it was coming up at the bottom so what I did was I got some cheap super glue from um, from Dollar Tree and where it was lifting up at I just put some super glue just a dab and then pushed it back down and now it's not coming up I did the same thing on both sides so if you're thinking about doing this of course the right way would be to um, to uh, you know get the whole thing painted and cleared but again this is only temporary because I want to see how it would look until I get everything done and you see you got a little, I got a little something right there that's uh probably from the car wash so I just take some um, some touch up plastic dip right there and spray it when you got stuff plastic dip uh, I know if they say plastic dip last which it does but you can see I went to the car wash yesterday and it was a um, it wasn't one of the aggressive ones it was one of the ones that the brush really don't touch your car but it still touches your car and it's high pressure or whatnot and you can see that happened so it's things you deal with with um, plastic dip the good thing is it can be touched up of course if you painted it that would be long term so you really ain't got to worry about that so I mean pick and choose but what we're going to do and what we got in hopefully is the stickers now I told you that I might replace these and I am the problem isn't them coming off they're on there but as you see it's not flat because this isn't this isn't made to be flat it's made to be domed and I took a chance on them and so when I took a chance I figured that I could flatten them out and still have that 3d look this is okay but I don't like that I don't like that edge where you can you can see around it of course if you're not up on it like that you have to get extremely close to see it if you're just at a distance you're not going to be able to see it. it just looks like oh cool Chevrolet emblem to go with the car you see right there around this around this edge see it's on there it's not going anywhere this is not going anywhere <laughs> So I see uh, this side right there at the edge it's on it. it is dry the bottom and this one is on there pretty good you can't really see none of the edges I guess that's just the way because I pressed it so we're gonna replace those or I should say that we may keep them for a while and then replace them with the ones that I got so let's go to the mailbox and we got some packages So let's open these up and see what we got. and they sent the same thing <laughs> wow these are not supposed to be curved you see where they're curved at they're not supposed to be dome shaped i don't know if you can see that they're supposed to be uh flat 
that was the purpose of me ordering um, the different ones from what I have. These are the same ones I already have. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, they're not going to be getting a good review. If I wanted the same thing that I had already, then I would have uh, ordered it. But we'll work with those. We'll keep them. Um, we'll keep them as a as a secondary, just in case. So we also have a special surprise here. Show y'all. You ready for this? Oh, badge light. Make sure y'all can see that. We got the LED light for the rear. I'm kind of I'm kind of upset about those uh, decals. So this is the uh, factory one, and this is this is the uh, it's um. It's slightly bigger. It's not too much bigger, but it is slightly bigger as you can see. And we're going to remove this and then you get to drill a hole to run your wires and then you uh, hook it up to uh, your tag lights. But I think I'm going to take this to my homeboy shop and let him, uh, let him do it. Alright, so we got it off, and I'm just going to use um, the new ones, and I'm not going to push them down on there. Now, in my other video, now, I initially used the glass and the rear view silicone. The problem is, it's so thick, it hardens up. Now, it, it holds, it's good, it, it will hold, but it's, uh, it's thick. So you got to take all this off and that was the problem why it wasn't laying it's flat so what we're going to do is we're just going to take the uh, new ones and I'm just going to put a light coat around the edge of super glue and stick them on there. I know some of y'all are probably laughing at me and saying yeah you messed it up man and you shouldn't have did that. I mean, it's a center cap. That center cap pops out, and I can clean that off. You know, so it's it's not that serious. Not like I bent the rim or something like that. I'm scraping it and um, you know, cleaning cleaning it off. It comes off. Um, so just learn from my mistakes. You know, we're here to help each other. I mean, you can laugh at me all you want, but hey, I me I I messed up. I messed up. I thought it would be good, which you know, it does look good. You know, to the average person, you wouldn't be able to to tell that. You wouldn't be able to tell that it's not completely flat and it's coming up right there. But this will not come off. <laughs> it 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 will hold. You have to literally peel it off. So I don't necessarily have to take it off, but um, I'm going to because I want the 3D. Hello? Hey, I need for you to run to Marietta real quick. Okay. Alright. Alright. So.
So, um, yeah, I could leave that on there, but since they sent me the wrong ones, I'm going to go with the 3D look. I mean, they would have sent me the flat ones then, you know, I would have, uh, worked with it and just kept these on here until I start going to the shows and stuff. But they sent me the dome ones, so I'm going to use the dome ones, and we're going to do it the right way. All right, I want to show you all the difference between the dome 3D look and when they're flat. This is a new one I just put on. You see it has that 3D shape to it. And these are the uh, the ones, the old ones. You see how it's flat? The flat looks good, but to me, just to my own personal liking, I like the 3D, the 3D look. Like it's coming at you. That's the flat one. Well, the one I flattened out. And that's the uh, the 3D one. That's uh, dome shaped. And you can actually feel the uh, the uh, bow tie. But again, those are 3D too. I just flattened them out. So that's it. I'm going to replace the rest of them and there's nothing really else for you to see in that aspect because they're the same. Just one has a 3D look and one I flattened out. But I have to run up to Atlanta to go do a job so I'm going to holler at y'all. Y'all subscribe, like, comment, tell me what you think, like it, love it, hate it, whatever it may be. Give me some suggestions. You know, let's help each other out.